Um, I remember we were in Mrs. Moat's homeroom class, and when our other friend Ben and I finally paid enough attention to what was going on around in the classroom to realize that we had two new students in the class, and because girls had cooties, we went ahead and approached Nick, um, and we wanted to, wanted to meet him and see who he was all about. So as we're walking up to him, I notice that he's drawing a picture, and it's a rather good picture at that, but it's of a Dragon Ball Z character or something strange of that nature, something weird to me anyway. So anyway, Nick, I just wanted to let you know that my very first opinion and thought of you was, well, this kid's weird. <laughs> but, I don't know what they're into at Marshalltown, but the cool kids aren't into that stuff here. When I met Sarah, I knew that we would be best friends because I finally met somebody that was a little bit weirder than I was. So that made me feel really good. Hi, Sarah. Take you, Nick. Take you, Nick. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. The first was Brothers Market. That was where I saw you for the first time, and I remember being so nervous. The instant I saw you, I had an unexplainable feeling of calmness. It took me a while to figure out what had happened, but I think I finally did. I knew that I had met my wife. All my worries, fears, and nerves faded away, and they were instantly remembered, in, and they were instantly rendered insignificant. The only thing that mattered was us. The second time was the most important and special to me. That time is today, in Trinity Methodist Church. I get to begin the rest of my life with my best friend, to declare our love in front of our coolest closest friends and family, and God is the most important event of my life. All I can think of is you and me. All, the, all that matters for the rest of our life is you and me. I love you so much, babe, and I can't wait to see how beautiful you look in your dress. <laughs> love, Nick. Nicholas Robert, I can't believe this day is finally here. It seems like we've been waiting for forever. A year and a half is almost forever, really. When I was younger, I used to dream about this day. Nick, you're so much more than I could have ever wanted in a husband. You are the most strong and driven man I've ever met. You inspire me every day to be a better person. I truly believe that you, you'd never fail at anything. What I love most about you is how much you love me. I'm blown away every day with your support and how you always put me and this relationship first. You inspire me, Nick, and I am so lucky. As this day begins, so does the newest chapter in our lives and biggest adventure yet. I'm not afraid of the unknown because I know you'll always be right by my side. I can't wait for all of our firsts and everything God has in store. We were put on this earth to help and support each other. I was meant to fall madly in love with a strong man who looked like Bradley Cooper <laughs> and asked me to marry him the first time we talked. I believe you were meant to help me be better and push me to be stronger than I think I am. Babe, I promise to love you every day for the rest of our life. I promise to never give up when things get hard and to always fight for us. I will always be your biggest fan and proudest supporter. 
You are the father of my fur children, the love of my life, my husband. I love you so much. See you soon. Love, Mrs. Nicholas Hutchins.